It's Expresso here at SABC3, the Feel Good Breakfast Show, and I'm going to tell you something. We've got somebody who's going to make you feel good a little later. Born and bred in Alsace River in the Western Cape, saxophonist and jazz artist August West started playing music at the age of just 15. Since then, August has developed his skills to become one of the top saxophonists in the mother city and beyond. He has shared the stage with the likes of Mark Lottering, Taryn Lamb, Emma Adams, as well as Don Vino Prince. And it is an honor to have this guy here. Absolutely. We get to know the Cape Town saxophonist a little better before he takes the floor for three incredible performances. So good to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much, man. Is this your look? Because I just want to know if anybody just comes up and they just sit there with a, with a saxophone. Yeah. Is, that, is that your vibe that you're going with this morning? Yeah, well, I think with what I'm in being inspired with, so I would go with that. So I'm trying to be comfortable. So. Okay. Like that, like it that. makes sense because you know that these days people stand like they all sit with a mobile phone. Yeah. But you sit with a saxophone. <laughs> so there's still some there's still a connection there. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Except you can't WhatsApp from that thing, but that's okay. It is yeah. Cool. Wow. <laughs> Take us back to where it all began for you. Where did it all start? The love for music start, but most specifically the saxophone because it's not an easy interest, instrument to play. Yeah. Well, with the saxophone, I think I was probably six, seven. Round about there, we I, I first saw some of the saxophone. Um, that was the first guy that I saw and heard play saxophone. Um, and with that being said, uh, Don Vino Prince was that guy many years back. And at that time, um, my mother couldn't afford the lessons for for him and whatever. And then, obviously, as a child, I was a bit despondent. But little did I know, a few years later, this desire would not leave me yeah. and then this one day in church I felt like I'm gonna pick up this thing and I'm gonna play now but obviously it didn't happen like that but um, from that time onwards um, I was motivated and then I started playing at, at gospel concerts and then my brother introduced me to Kenny G's music, um, Dave Koz, Kirk Whalem and those type of people which I started listening to. Um, and yeah from there onwards um, playing at gigs and whatever and learning from other musicians as well. And I'm still enjoying the journey. That's the most important for me. With a saxophone, yeah. I can tell. You know you're holding it like your child. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely. Can tell. <laughs> Did you see that? You know, and this is important because I, I wish people had that type of passion for whatever they do. And I mean, this is, it's great. And I, you talk about Don Vino Prince. Yeah. Is that an aspiration of yours to be that level of, of Don Vino Prince and beyond? Like, where do you want to take your music? With my music, I, I, I see myself as this, um, musical therapist, I would say, for the fact that um, music has healed a lot of people. So I would want to be that to people and not... Well, the perks of being a musician as saxophonist is being, being on the stage and that stage and yes. playing with whatever artist. But to be able to uh, project or present healing to anyone mm. who might hear the sound. And I, and I mean that's in every musician. It's just that they, that's, I, that's what I'm following at the moment to to be that, like someone, I, I always say this, that it's good to be on stage with whoever, but what makes me feel much better is when someone tells me, you know what, I was listening to you and you just changed my mind positively. <laughs> so that is the type of, um, I would say, projection that I want, want to give to, to everyone out there I who like listens it. to me and obviously, yeah. With a smile as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> keep smiling, keep smiling. I love it. But we, we also know that you collaborated with Early B on his brand new album, which is doing so amazing. Yeah. Tell us about that and how cool that must have been to be able to do that with him. Look, I think with obviously regards to hearing him and his songs, whatever, some years ago I felt like I would like to work with him. And just once, some time ago, I put on, on his live feed up. Uh, but he didn't see the comment. I was, okay. I was saying, I wish I could work with you one day and whatever, and so on. And then a few months down the line, I get a message from someone saying, look here, um, Early B would like you to be on his album. But it's, it's that thing of putting it out in the atmosphere. Mm. And I left it there and but remarkably it came back to me and, and I told him about it. So he said, no, you didn't see the... The comment that I left there, but I think for, for even that moment, it was so big for me because his achievement, without him knowing, um, but I would also would like to say that I'm grateful that he asked me to yeah. be on his album as well. Yeah. 
can imagine how that was, eh? You must have jumped up and down Yo, and said, Hey, Suka, Ben 10, Ben 10, a Ben 10 met the saxophone. Yeah, I know. It's going to be exciting. But I know that you also have your own project and your, I mean, your album is called First of August, which is very exciting. Gospel album. Yeah. I mean, when is, when is that, uh, that coming out? We, we can't wait. Well, it's expected to come out in August. Oh, I never would have guessed. Um, yeah, wow. no, ne yeah, never, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, but I, I think with the with the with my name, obviously, and most people usually ask me this: if my name is August, that my real name is August. And, um, okay. Usually, I would have a concert every year before um, the pandemic. Pandemic, um, it would be a night with August in July, a night with August <laughs> in October. So, right. so I use the, the my name as the theme for also presenting myself in my music and. Um, most of the songs that's going to be on the album is going to be um, originally composed um, and inspired um, by things that had happened in my life and obviously all honored to God with that. Wow. You are an inspiring person and we thank you so much for joining us. Oh, we can't you. wait to hear you later and to have this kind of Gospel Monday will be mind-blowing. So wow. thank you very much. We'll see you a little later on the show for some exciting saxophony. But for now, we do have to jump over to some news of the world. Here's Zoe.